Hey, this is Angelo Vega, and welcome to Action Adventure Showcase. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of the greatest game series in the modern era, The Call of Duty. I'm only going to be covering the Warfare series, because that's the one I'm most into. As you can see, I'll be getting ready to play in a little bit. Infinity, War Infinity Warfare. So yeah, Call of Duty is very fucking addicting to play, folks. I remember I first got hooked playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Then there was Call of Duty World at War, which was very fucking excellent, takes place in World War II. Then there was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And then there was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This game is the epitome of what Call of Duty is all about, folks. Action-packed, great fucking story, great perks, great weapons. Oh my god, like, they throw you right into battle. It feels like if you're really in a fucking war, folks. Very awesome. Look at this shit. This was for PS3. See what it says? The best-selling franchise in PS3 history is back. Multiplayer, online, survival mode. So far, I have never, ever been disappointed with any Call of Duty game. This game has some of the best graphics known to mankind. Thanks to Infinity Ward. Also, Activision and Sledgehammer Games. Call of Duty is super way beyond into the future when it comes to video games. Which brings me to this gem over here. On PS4, this was the first Call of Duty game that dropped. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Sledgehammer Games, Activision. So fucking cool. Infinity Ward. And in this game, look who's on the back. I'm sure you recognize him from a few movies. That's right, it's Kevin Spacey, folks. He was the main villain in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And I gotta tell you, if anybody was to play the part of a fucking asshole and get an Oscar for it, this is your guy right here, folks. One manipulative motherfucker. I'll tell you that much. There you go. Campaign mode. Multiplayer. Co-op. Survival. This fucking game and this fucking story blew my fucking mind. It was the introduction of this. The special armor that makes you boost and fly for a brief moment of time. Very fucking cool. It's an addicting thing to do now in Call of Duty. Very addicting thing to do in Call of Duty. Which brings me now to this gem right here. The current one I am currently playing. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare with my favorite rig to use featured on the cover, the Warfighter. This fucking game. Oh my freaking God, folks. The gameplay, the action, the story takes place in outer space and other planets and Earth as well. And of course it has zombies. The zombies are cool to play. 
if you're into killing zombies. But yeah, this Call of Duty by far is the ultimate addictive game so far in the franchise. I got nothing against the Black Ops games, but I prefer to follow the main storyline, which is the Warfare series. But this game, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, some of the best action, some of the greatest weapons I ever got my hands on, some of the best rigs also. So fucking cool. You get laser guns, folks. Uh, imagine having a machine gun that shoots fucking lasers. A fucking shotgun that shoots lasers. Like energy blasters and shit. Oh my god, folks. I just got an inv inv invitation to play. I'm gonna play in a few minutes, but I gotta finish this up for you first. Which brings me to a hidden gem. A hidden gem. Now, what could a hidden gem be? <gasps> Bam! Call of Duty Pops exclusive. All gilled up. This is, of course, a sniper character from the Call of Duty series. Check him out, folks. This is one little badass motherfucker. Look at his fucking sniper rifle there. Or AK-47. It looks more like a sniper. Yeah, because of the scope. Alright, check out the front of the box. Check out the top. Check out the side. Check out the other side. Check out the back. Other characters, of course, but to me, he looked the coolest. Well, you know when I do these unboxings, I always drop the shit. Let's see today, I don't drop it. Let's get him out the box. Bear with me. Really bear with me, folks. Really bear with me, folks. Bear with me. I'm gonna get him out the box. Bear with me, folks. All right. Let's get him out the box. All right, he didn't get dropped on his cranium. Well, he kind of did. Nobody saw it though, so I don't give a fuck. All right, here we go. Check him out. Check him out. He fucking busts his ass. Check out his helmet with his swamp gear covering it. Because he has to be in seclusion because he's a sniper. Check out his back. He's just tarped and camouflaged, folks. His head turns. I think his head turns. I'm not sure if his head turns. Yeah, his head turns. His head has a little swivel there. Oh, shit. Let me find out this nigga can't stand. Can he stand on the box? Oh shit, this one can't fucking stand. He's gonna have to stay in the box. Alright, but look. Check out his combat boots. Very well detailed. Check out his sniper rifle. Very well detailed. Check out his mask. Super detailed. Get these back up here for you people. So yeah. This has been another episode of Action Adventure Showcase. This is Angelo Vega. Please subscribe to my channel and please play some Call of Duty whenever you get the chance. Peace.